hello guys welcome to evidential tech my name is evidence in this video i am going to show you how to put numbers in order how to do average sum how to use formulas and how to copy your formula to an entire table and let's get right to it so to begin let's put some numbers out of order first so let's say we have all these numbers here right um to put them in order is very simple you just highlight all of them you right click and you see where it says sort you can sort them um, smallest to largest and put them in order or you can right click and you can sort it from largest to smallest you know or you can um, determine your own custom order of how you want it to be sorted so you have you have different options of to customize how you want the numbers to be sorted and I'm just going to right click and sort and I'm going to put this smallest to largest so that's how you sort numbers in Microsoft Excel up next I'm going to show you how to do average sum and other stuff so you go over to your home button I mean you can go you can leave it here in formulas if you want to but um, it's also available in the home menu so if you highlight all of this and you go over to where it says auto sum you can click on that and right below it is let me put this here so you can see this and let me highlight this so you can see it auto summed it automatically and if you highlight all of these two and go over to here and say average as you can see put the average like right below it and this is average and if you highlight all of this and go over to this tab and you can see count the numbers there are 14 numbers it does that automatically if you highlight this go over here you can see a um, maximum 76 the minimum is one of course you have many different options over here and of course you can click more functions and you can either type a brief description you can choose um, from this database you can choose the category that you want you can scroll to here to find exactly what you want to do and it will do it for you and whatever, whenever you find it you just click ok and it will do the calculations for you next I'm going to show you how to use formulas so to use formulas the easiest way is probably to go to the, to the formula tab and you see all types of formulas here for you to choose from so and what you want to like highlight what um, you want to do first and go over here to the function library and you can choose from here you can recently use standard deviation you can do financial depending on what you are trying to calculate logical text um, you can put time on other stuff so so let's say you go over here to financial just for example and click on this once you click on a particular formula it will uh, a, a box like this will come up for you to put in the parameter so if it's like a box that requires different parameters you put in your numbers in Excel first and then you come over to this box and put in your parameters and click OK and to do the calculations for you and let's say you, let's go to logical for example and click this you see a parameter comes up for you to put in um, the parameters and you just click something like this you highlight the easiest way to put in your parameters is to highlight the numbers and click this arrow and to show up here and then you know you can um, come over here and put something like this and then to print your parameters and click ok this might be wrong you know actually it came out to be five and so that's how you do that last but not least I'm going to show you how to copy formulas to entire table so let's say we have this here and I'm just going to expand this into four columns so it just copies it automatically over and let's do something like average let's do something like average let's do average right so when I go here I can highlight all of this in just the first column right and go to auto sum and click average and the average comes out right there next to it I'm going to move the cell over And if I just see this first column here that gave me the average, as you can see right here, that's the average of all these numbers. If I just drag this column down, 
it automatically calculates the average of all these numbers here. So if I click on this, you see it's the average of these numbers. If I click on this, you see the average of these numbers. So if you have like a table like this, this is probably one of the easiest way for you to quickly distribute the formula throughout um, the table. And for here, let's do something a little bit different. Uh, let's say something like, let's highlight these first ones and click on sum. For example, as you can see, the sum comes up over here. And if you click on this and click on this box, you see that it's the sum of these numbers here. And if you just click on this box and drag it down, see it does the calculations for you and distribute the formula automatically to these other cells. So if you click on this box and click here, you see that it's the sum of all these numbers combined. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. In the meantime, I will see you on the next video. Bye!